The war in Ukraine saw the greatest use of drones ever. UAVs have changed warfare forever and play a big role on the front lines. There are estimates that thousands of drones are launched here every day. The ability to detect, identify targets and attack them quickly is what has changed tactics. And now there is a race to develop anti-drone systems. The problem is cost. The use of very expensive missiles to destroy cheap UAVs makes most countries unable to afford it. The Slinger is an Australian-made counter-drone engagement system designed and developed to meet contemporary and emerging threats based on lessons learned in contemporary conflict regions, such as Ukraine. According to the manufacturer, Slinger's price tag is less than $1.55 million per system. It aims to take down drones at a cost of between $155 and $1,550 per engagement. Australian-based company Electro-Optic Systems, better known as EOS, has confirmed that Ukraine will receive new Slinger counter-tron systems by year's end. In a recent interview with ABC News, Matt Jones from EOS pointed out that 10 Slinger are expected to be delivered to Ukraine by the end of the year as part of a U.S. military aid package. The system incorporates a radar, 30mm cannon with specially designed ammunition, and U.S. proprietary stabilization and pointing technology for counter-drone operations. The system is capable of tracking and engaging moving drones beyond 800 meters with unique ammunition making it suitable for use in built-up environments. The Slinger system can be mounted on civilian pickup trucks, which improves the mobility of the system itself and also enables mounting on any suitable vehicle. The system consists of one Bushmaster M230LF 30mm gun and a FN Mark 7.62mm machine gun. Combined with an optical electronic system and radar, the system demonstrates high accuracy against most aerial targets such as DJI Phantom. According to the manufacturer, it is able to destroy the DJI Matrix Tron at a range of 1.4 km and the DJI Phantom at a range of 1 km. The range of target detection by the optical electronic system is 12 km using the daytime channel and 13.7 using the night channel. The system weighs up to 400 kg, which makes it suitable for installation on wheel and track platforms both civilian and military. The Slinger can use proximity sensing ammunition with radio frequency proximity fused, which allows the system to engage small drones. The rate of fire of such a gun using a thermal imager and night vision devices is 100 or 200 rounds per minute. It is worth noting that the Ukrainian authorities ordered 110 of these systems for installation on armored personnel carriers M113. Another 50 were ordered by the company Practica. The company plans to install these modules on these armored vehicles. The total amount of the order is approximately $170 million. Ukraine accuses Russia of 
regularly bombarding Ukrainian targets with suicide weapons, such as Iranian-made Sahet-136 drones. Russia also ramped up drone production this fall and is expected to expand the scale of drone attacks in the future. Ukraine is also concerned that Russia will use drones to attack essential Ukrainian infrastructure, similar to last winter. Ukraine regularly intercepts large number of Russian drones with the help of Western air defense systems, but this is a costly measure and beneficial to Russia. However, the Slinger system can reduce the cost significantly. Australian Defense Magazine reported that EOS is also developing a system to shoot down drones using lasers called Titanis. In a recent demonstration, the system destroyed a drone at a distance of nearly 1 km. The conflict in Ukraine is showing the growing role of drones in modern wars. Anton Jereschenko, advisor to Ukraine's interior minister, told Newsweek in February that UAVs are being considered super weapons. This war is a war of UAVs, he said. The ability of both Russia and Ukraine to successfully acquire and operate UAVs is also increasing. Ukraine has received UAVs from Western allies. Meanwhile, some reports, including documents from British Ministry of Defense, say that Moscow may be run out of supplies of Sahet 131 and 136 UAVs, and domestic military UAV production cannot keep up with demand. <laughs>